Hi. Last video, I had a Walner's PPK, the most famous and one of the most well-used pocket pistols in Europe. Today, I've got mostly the opposite, one of the most famous and well-used pocket pistols in America, the Colt 1908 Vest Pocket Pistol in Airsoft. This was my first airsoft gun I ever got. I got it four years ago, and it has seven bullets in the clip. The clip's low, it's a little bit small, and the gun itself is pretty small, but it's compact and really light, but it's made out of metal. The only thing I don't think is made out of metal is the grips, which are still very high quality. They're chipped a bit, but this gun's pretty good. It's got, the paint is kind of flecking. It may be made in China, but it's very good. The kit it came in was by Umrex, and it had the pistol and a bag of bullets. Now, this video, I'm going to use these yellow bullets. Last video for my Walner's TPK, I used the blue bullets. These are threaded, and they don't work very well in the gun. That's why it kept jamming. So let's shoot this. As you can see, it wasn't terribly accurate. This pistol was used mostly for close range. It was chambered in 25 ACP and originally ma made in America in 1907. By 1910, it started getting into Europe, and it was used by opium traders during the 20s and the 30s. It was used by opium traders because back then, security wasn't as it used to be. Opium was shipped all around the planet, and the traders needed a small, tiny pistol. This is even smaller than the Walner's PPK, so they could easily fit it on their person. Nowadays, police are trained to pick up objects as small as paper clips, so you can't use these anymore. They've also gone out of business in the 1960s when the famous Gun Control Act happened, banning small guns such as this and the Walner's PPK. But this was a very reliable pistol. It wasn't really used by the police and the army since it was small. They used more of like the Colts. Plus it was kind of underpowered, but it was excellent for espionage and civilians. Something light that you could fit in with your wallet and that people wouldn't notice. Almost one third of the people who carried back then carried this. It, its height was in the 30s when, especially in America, gangsters moved to Chicago and people didn't really feel safe with the police or that because the gangsters had uh, corrupted them. So they bought small pocket pistols such as this. Even the gangsters use these. So I'm going to do a demonstration in which I'm going to act like a civilian and pull this out and see how fast I can shoot it. The real gun had a safety, but this doesn't. It's just for a show. So I'm going to shoot it. This clip's very tiny, so I don't. The thing didn't. The only. The thing only came with one bullet, and the, as you can see, the safety's fake. A real thing, it have a notch there, and there'd also be a safety here. It look. It's styled to have a European release, but it really has this American release here. All right. I'm going to pretend I'm a civilian and I have it in the holster. Those two cups of purple liquid down there are supposed to be aliens. We'll pretend they're attacking me, and I'll shoot them. Hit the first one. Hit the second one. And it's empty. So, not very close range gun. You wouldn't recommend shooting at stuff from long range. Definitely not a hunting pistol, but a self-defense gun. 
thank you. This is my second video. See you soon.